In this overview, we are going to discuss Bubble Maps. Bubble Maps are a new feature within the DHIS2 Maps app that allow you to display data related to the geography you have selected as a point or bubble, rather than a shaded area. The size and the color of the bubble are proportional to the value being displayed, allowing both of these items to assist you in identifying what the values are representing. We can see an example of a bubble map here. This map is displaying confirmed cases of COVID-19 by district. Rather than having each district shaded in, we have bubbles of different sizes and colors representing our data. Even without referring to the legend, we can intuitively see which districts have more cases due to the size of the bubble shown within the district. The legend is still a useful tool, however, as it lets us know the relative value range associated with the bubble shown on the map. If you are familiar with working with thematic layers in the DHIS2 Maps app, then making a bubble map will be a very simple process. We can add a thematic layer to review this process in more detail. Let me start by selecting my data item. In this case, the example we are using is confirmed COVID-19 cases. I will also update my period to this year. For the organization units, I want to display the data for my districts, so I will select the district level. In order to create a bubble map, I need to update the style section of the thematic layer. Here we can see that we can select two map types, Choropleth, which are the maps we are used to creating in DHIS2 that use shaded areas for any polygon-based geographical boundary, and Bubble Maps, which allow us to use bubbles instead of shaded areas to represent data items within our selected geographical boundary. Let me select Bubble Map in this example. I am also going to alter the radius of the bubbles just so I can see them a bit more clearly. I will change the low radius to 10 and the high radius to 40. We can see that we also have a couple options for our legend type. A new legend type single color is available when using bubble maps. This type of legend uses a single color for all data values. However, the bubbles on the map will change size based on the data value it is representing. This is a common way to display bubble maps. Let us select this option so we can compare it with the map that was shown initially. After I have selected all of my inputs and options for my map, I can select Add Layer. I now have a bubble map that I can use to quickly review and identify variances in my confirmed number of cases of COVID-19. We can see the legend itself when I use the single color option is a bit different than before. However, we can still check the values of our data by scrolling over the individual bubbles if required. Bubble maps are an intuitive way to create maps that are easy to interpret, particularly for areas such as hotspot identification in disease surveillance. As of DHIS 235, you can now make bubble maps directly within the Maps app. We look forward to hearing your comments on this feature. For any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on the Community of Practice.